Hey guys, I wanted to do an update on my aquaponic system. These are my indoor grow beds. Um, more experimental than anything. My system hasn't quite cycled yet. It's, you know, two weeks old now. I really need four to six weeks, I think, to get all the bacteria going like they should be. But uh, I am seeing some growth. Uh, pepper plants are really doing really well. I think they've grown a couple inches just in the last week. And, uh, the uh, peppers, these are small sweet cherry peppers, they're actually coming along pretty good, so pretty happy with that. Had a problem last night with the tank overflowing. It only overflowed, I think, maybe five gallons. I had a overflow the very first week that I got the tank and dumped 275 gallons on the floor, so that wasn't good. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get my solids out, which I've got. This pipe that goes across here, the, the large two inch one, it equalizes the pressure between the two tanks and keeps the water levels constant. And the catfish had clogged the tube there. Whenever they did that, it caused it to overflow. So I made a screen for the pipe, drilled several holes, and that worked pretty good for about a week, but it got clogged with solids so decided to go with another method I got this three inch basket and I mounted it onto the end of a two inch PVC fitting and see it goes on there like that fits nicely and then I drilled a couple of holes and put a zip tie through it um, that worked for about a minute and it actually clogged completely with solids my solids had gotten out of control, I guess, and uh, I had to take it off, so I'm running it without it now, but I've got this two-inch pipe that goes about an inch from the bottom of the tank. Comes up over here and then drains in this one. You can see about 15 minutes of running this. That's the number of solids that I got. This tank was completely empty. I've got this pump set up temporarily. It's a, a small one I got at Harbor Freight Tool. But it's running over here and filling out this tank, which causes some water pressure, which forces the water up and over and into this tank. And as it's going up and over, it lifts those solids into this tank. This tank here is my primary tank. Um, I've got 117 catfish in there. It's been a week and a half. I haven't had any dye yet, which is good. Um, got this water diverted temporarily. Normally it goes both directions, aerates both tanks, but I'm putting as much water into this tank as I can so that it'll lift any solids out of this tank, carry it over to this tank, and then from this tank it comes over here and this is the final resting spot, spot of my solids. From there I've got two options. I can either drain them off on the bottom of this tote. I'm also going to have uh, this water overflow into my outdoor grow beds, which I'm built still in the process of building. I've got three, gonna have four. Still putting my greenhouse together. Uh, I've got five more legs to put up. Plastic will be here next week, so if the weather cooperates, I'm hoping to get that all put together. And then we can get some more grow beds. Um, once that gets to going through there, I think it'll filter quite a bit better and. Uh, most of my solids should have been in, in here. I'm going to put some biofilter media in there. I've got some plastic jugs that I'm shredding and I'm going to put in a kind of a net bag. I think that'll help keep everything. Um, more than likely on these solids, I was overfeeding. My son's helping me, and it's fun to see the fish come up and eat. So I think he tosses a handful in there every time he comes out. And I'm going to have to put a stop to that. I think they're. A lot more of the food is settling. I don't think that's all fish waste. So we'll just have to see how this works. I'm hoping that once uh, once I get the majority of the solids out, because this is you know two weeks worth of overfeeding or a week and a half of overfeeding, hoping once the majority of those solids are out, I can put my screens back on and won't have an issue with them clogging. But we'll let you know on a future update whether that works out for me or not. And that's about it. Thanks.